So I wanted some antennas to do uh, an experiment with, and I found somebody on eBay that had some bare PC boards, um, which will be great for my application. So these are, are Mark 2400 megahertz, but they're actually a, a log periodic uh, design. So um, they're Mark 2400, like I say, and that I, that I looked it up, that, that calculates to about 62 millimeters. And so, yeah, so, 2.4 megahertz would, would be about here, so it's obviously going to be go a little bit shorter than that and, and a whole lot longer than that. Um, and so uh, when I get this built, we'll measure it on a uh, VNA and what we'll see uh, see what kind of uh, see what kind of range that it, that it really does have. Um, the way that these work is that they are phased, right? So that one side of the PC board, has half of the dipole and the other side has the other half of the dipole. So you, you can kind of see through the PC board. You can see that there's a faint line there and then there's a tracer. So, yeah. So, and then every other uh, one is, is, is out of phase, right? 180 degrees out of phase. So that's just the way log periodics are made. Um, the feed point of this antenna is actually up here and you point it that way. So what you do is you have a coax that runs and, and the center of the coax connects up here. And then uh, you uh, basically solder the shield of the coax along, along one side. So one side ends up being ground or, you know, the coax and then the other side goes through a, a via to the to this, so the center center conductor of the coax will will radiate with this side, and the ground side of the coax will radiate with this side. And that's just the way they are. And uh, there'll be a little, we'll, we'll just put a little SMA at the end of a semi rigid cable here, and uh, you can buy them all put together. I think I think you maybe pay uh, twenty bucks for something like that. And these were I got I got two of these for five dollars. So uh, yeah, these are cheaper to go cheaper to go this route and. and uh, should be should be what I need. All right, so uh, yeah, let's let's build one up and measure it and see how it performs. All right, so I have this spool of uh, nice, expensive uh, coax here, semi-rigid. It's uh, silver plated, I believe. But anyway, uh, what it will do is it will lay along the ridge here and the center conductor will go into that via right there and then uh, we'll put a SMA on this side. And so, yeah, let's get that going. Let's see, this is gonna need about that much. We're gonna need about that much. So we'll just chop off more than we need. All right. All right, this will be good. I think what we'll do is we'll put the uh, coax, uh, put, uh, put the SMA on first and then uh, strip it down to length. All right, so if you haven't done this before, there's a center pin and there's the connector and the coax will fit inside this little recess on the connector and you'll solder that around. But first we need to attach the center pin and then it will, it will all go inside. All right, I'm holding the pin in the vise so it doesn't fall on the floor. And uh, I can't, there's a tiny, tiny little hole in these pins and you can get water, solder, water. You get solder to wick in that little hole there and it should be all you need. And it didn't quite wick in all the way. There we go. All right, so now we have the center pin on the coax and we can insert it into the connector. And look on the other end, looks like the pin is sticking out a good distance. Should be almost flush with the end of the connector, which I can feel it, it almost is. All right, so let's, uh, Hold this, because it's going to get hot. I don't want to be holding it in my fingers. All right. And let's put some solder right here and try to get it to wick around. Uh, 
And we'll do the back side. I need this on a rotary table. There you go. That looks very good. All right. So now we have SMA connector on the end of a end of a piece of semi-rigid. And then we will straighten it out and we'll put it like a so and have it about over here. It's got that. All right. I think that will be a good length. Let's strip this one back. There we go. A little bit of I'll bend that over. My favorite homemade pliers. And put it in put it in the via. And yeah, we'll be good to go. So let me uh let me start uh Putting a little bit of solder in here to hold it in. Make sure that cools. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, so we will. Water down some more of this. out a bit. All right. That should be it. We should have an antenna. Very nice. All right. Let's take it over to the VNA and uh, measure it. See how it came out. All right, so we have the uh, VNA calibrated. It's going from 500 megahertz to 3000 megahertz. Um, and here's our antenna. This is S11. And uh, you can see it's dipping down. Uh, let's see if we can move the uh, cursor up. Oh, it's kind of fast, there we go. We're getting a really big dip around uh, 11, 1112. And uh, it's fairly broadband. It's kind of got an ugly, ugly right here. Let's look at the ugly. It's kind of got an ugly around 1600. And then it's got a dip over here right around 2237. So it says it's a 2400. It says it's 2400. So let's put it at 2400. 2400 is about right there. So I would say, it's, no, it's not 2400. It's 2300 and below. So, yeah. Um, but it's fine for what I want it for. I will use the best one. I will use it at 
Uh, let's see if I can get an accurate measurement here at the negative here. 1100. I think I will use it at 1100, although it's a little bit tight. It's, it, maybe I'll move it in a little bit so I don't, I don't get too crazy here. So maybe 1125, something like that. Let me write that down. Because I'm going to be doing a transmit receive, I'll use both antennas about the same way. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Let me zoom in here so you could see that better. Um, we have uh, this here at about 1100, this here at about 2200, and uh, it's sort of, sort of broadband in between with some lumpiness. So each element kind of gives you a, a dip because it's a log periodic, so you get, you get these little dips. And then it sort of misses, sort of misses one right around there. Could have had an extra element or something right around that frequency. But uh, yeah, there you go. It's a log, log periodic antenna. Mark 2400, but 2400 measured way up here, which was no bueno. So, um, yeah, there you go.